right on the dot, 10 o'clock. Good morning, you guys. How are you? My name is Sabrina. We are going to do a leg routine today. Last week was my first week back using weights after breaking my foot. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so pumped. I have so much energy this morning, and I'm in a really good mood, which helps with the fantastic workout, yeah? So we're going to be working out today. If you want to work out with me, as far as equipment that you need, you're going to need a heavy set of dumbbells, a lighter set of dumbbells, a bench, or a step, and we are also going to use some booty bands. So we're going to start off with some mobility stretches, then we'll go into glute activation exercises and then we'll go into our compound exercises okay so um my name is sabrina i do live workouts every single day 10 a.m central standard time come join me right here on tiktok youtube and instagram i'm streaming on all three platforms please go follow me on youtube subscribe to my channel if you want to do these workouts and you're maybe not available at the moment or you're busy you can always do them back on youtube at your own leisure right i have my green smoothie we're in a good mood happy monday you guys guess what else i have Ready to go, no excuses. 48 grams of protein right here, baby. We are hitting our protein goals this week. Last week was a bust. We're not gonna talk about it. Remember, and I always tell you this, like if you miss a goal, please don't beat yourself up about it. Like the past is the past. All you can do is look forward to the next day and think of how you can just do better, right? Like, but there's no point dwelling on the past. So let's just kill it this week, okay? So we're gonna start off with some mobility stretches. Um, stand right in the center of your mat. We're just going to swing our leg front to back. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, you guys. So we're swinging this leg front to back. We're going to switch and do the right leg. Then we're going to go into a yogi squat after this, okay? Maybe a little runner's lunge, yeah? Yeah? I'm so bloated, by the way. We did a little fiesta over the weekend. We went to Taste of New Orleans on Saturday. And then Friday, we did Alamo Heights night. It was a good time, it was a lot of fun. Okay, swinging left to right. Other foot, and if you find yourself struggling with your balance, just grab a chair, okay? We'll make it work. All right, I'm gonna show you this yogi squat in two different ways. I'm gonna show you the modified version first, which is gonna be right here. We squat, wide squat on your mat. Put your hands on your knees. Turn your body to the right. Oh my gosh, to the left. And then you're just gonna go side to side. So we're trying to get that mobility going in our ankles, in our knees, in our hips, yeah? So that's the modified version. The more advanced version is gonna be like this. You bring your hands together, wide squat. We come all the way down. I think this is called, if there's any yogis on here, I'm pretty sure this is called a yoga malasana or something like that. <laughs> Don't quote me. But anyways, this one's a little bit more difficult, but the same concept, we're gonna ro rock from side to side. Get our ankle mobility, our knee mobility, and our hips, yeah? I want you to put the palms of your hands on your mat, come up, and back down. We're gonna go do a quick runner's lunge and then we'll begin. Good morning, you guys. I've got so much energy today. All right, let's go. So, right leg on the mat, we're gonna go to an extended lunge and overextended, really extend that hip all the way down. We're gonna bring our arms up high into the sky. We'll do this stretch again at the end. I was so sore this weekend from Friday's workout. Switch legs. So, we're gonna bring that same energy today. I'm pumped. Grab your booty band. We're gonna start off with some glute activation exercises. Lateral band walks, fire hydrant to a kick out, yeah? Let's do it. So, start off with your band. Grab your band. You're gonna put it right above your knees. Um, we're gonna go into a squat. It's not like a full, full squat. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Let me put this band on. Good morning, you guys. So excited to be here today. But I'm bloated. But I still showed up. Bloat and all. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. I feel like you're so close. Is that better? Thank you for the follows, you guys. I see you. 
Who we have following? Leslie, Turkish Dave, Angela, I see you. Thank you guys for the follow. Alejandra, yay! Good morning, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, as far as what you can expect today, a fantastic home workout. Um, our kind of deal is we work out from home, right? We, do, we utilize strength training from home, doing home workouts, um, but we really push it. We push ourselves. And I want you to know that you can get a fantastic workout just the same as you would at the gym at home. You can lose weight, maintain, build muscle, build strength. You can get in the best shape of your life. And I know that's a bold statement, but I can say that because that's exactly what I did over the last four years working out from home in my backyard. So if I can do it, why can't you? You can too, okay? So today we're gonna do upper body, tomorrow, or sorry, legs. Tomorrow we'll do upper body, Wednesday we'll do legs, Thursday we'll do upper body, and Friday we'll do legs again. We're gonna save the last like 10 to 20 minutes for core. This is what we're gonna do for this one. We're gonna go into a squat, but it's gonna be like right about here, okay? Normal squat would be all the way down here, we're gonna be right here. I'm so bloated, don't say shit. I'm just kidding. All right, let's go. So we're gonna step across, I'm gonna go this way, because I'm so self-conscious. We're gonna go here and across. Here and across. And we're just gonna go across the room and back. That's gonna count as one. Did you guys have a good weekend? Rest? All right, that's one. Breathe. We're doing it again. with a little kick, yeah? Two more rounds. Let's go. Stay low and really step wide enough across to make that resistance band work. Ah! that's a little looser it's got a little bit more give to it yeah because oh my gosh I'm already so tired um because we're gonna be doing a hip abduction right so we're gonna be it's a wide range of motion so get some water for me stay hydrated my friends and we're working on our system I'm not counting every single rep because I already scream enough as it is and I swear I would like not have a voice if I count every single rep so Honor system, I hope you're going to 10, okay? If not, if you're just starting out or you're recovering from an injury, that's okay. But remember, I'll finish with this. Challenge yourself. I always say this. Challenge yourself. Don't cheat yourself, right? We're here putting in the work. Let's put in as much work as we can to just... You're not going to see results unless you're putting in the work, yeah? That wasn't as eloquently as I wanted to put it, but you get the gist, yeah? Essentially, you have to push your body out of its comfort zone to see true growth, yeah? So you should really be pushing yourself towards those last couple of reps and sets. When you feel like you're tired and you can't go anymore, you probably can, so push yourself, okay? So we're gonna put our band on, we're gonna get on our mat, we're gonna go into a tabletop position, okay? Good morning, you guys! Oh, Steven, how are you? 
I don't know. You know, I haven't really been posting too much. I've still been going live, but I haven't been posting to my TikTok. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. We'll get back to that. Um, all right, so we're going to come here. Tabletop position. Neutral back, neutral spine. Shoulders in line with your hands. We lift this left leg and we kick out. Yeah? That's one. Slow and controlled. We're going to 10. Other side. We're gonna go do two more rounds of that, okay? So left leg, right leg. Then our booty should be nice and warmed up. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. your band off, okay? Um, oh no, 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 no. Leave that band on. Psych! Pull it back up. We're gonna go do open close squats, okay? I'm gonna throw my hair out because I'm over it. Whew. So for these open close squats, it's similar to a jump squat, but it's also not. Um, let me show you what it looks like. Grab some water, take a break. You're gonna get on your mat, yeah? This is gonna raise your heart rate. If you don't wanna jump, just let me know. I'll show you a modification if you don't wanna jump, okay? Yes, I'm bloated. So bloated. It's a struggle. It's a daily struggle to bloat, but we're gonna normalize it, okay? Because our tummies change different positions and I don't know, they look different throughout the day, right? Okay, so. This is what it is. Let me show you the more advanced version and then I'll show you a modification, okay? So more advanced, we're gonna be jumping. We jump out to a squat, squat. Then we come up to our original position. Out to a squat, back to our original position. If you're not gonna be jumping, you're gonna go do a step out squat. You stay low, you start off in a squat. You step out, stay low, come together. Step out, stay low, come together. You never come up, okay? It's almost more difficult. So you stay low and you just step out. One, two, three, core is on, four. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, maybe we should do a set of those afterwards. Okay, let's do it. Are we good? Let me have some green smoothie. Maybe it'll give me some energy. I haven't had a green, green smoothie in a minute. Are we ready? Let me turn the music up because we need to be, we need to like hype ourselves up. There we go. My little music knob is a little, broken so I have to like tinker with it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. We're gonna do four sets 
That's a 10. You know what? No, let's just go straight through it. Ready? First set, let's go.
Especially if you go out to eat and they serve you water, it's not the best. Um, so I just bring my own. Everywhere. Okay, so we've got two more rounds, you guys. You ready? Left leg. Let's go.
Thank you guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Whoa. Okay, we're moving and grooving. We're 20 minutes in, y'all. Not too shabby. Sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day. <sighs> so, jump squats. You can do these a couple different ways as well. You could do them with a dumbbell, without a dumbbell, with a band, without a band, yeah? With a band with weight, with a band without weight. No weights at all, no band at all. You get the picture, yeah? I'm gonna do weight. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm so sorry. Hold on. No, we're not gonna use a weight. I apologize because we're gonna pair this up with um, pulsing squats, okay? So we're gonna come here onto our mat. We're gonna do, should we do the pulsing first or second? Let's do it last. So we'll do 10 jump squats and then on the, after the 10th one, y'all, you're gonna stay low and you're gonna pulse. It's gonna look like this. And we're gonna stay low, small range of motion, pulse for 10, okay? Your quads are gonna be lit. Lit, <laughs> so lit. Okay, good morning you guys. If you're just joining, my name is Sabrina. I do life workouts every single day, Monday through Friday. Come join me right here on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Please go follow me on my YouTube. It is the same username as my TikTok. It's in the link in bio. Good morning, how are ya? Okay, first round. Okay. I'm trying to just like mentally prepare myself. Okay, so 10 and then pulsing for 10, okay? Yeah, we got this. We can do hard things. Let's go.
I try not to curse because sometimes there's moms with kiddos, so my bad. summer because I want to be running around taking him all over the place so I want to be done with my workout that way we can get to wherever we're going early to beat the crowd to beat the heat so I think that's the plan so I'll keep you posted if he's in summer camp then we'll stay the same if not we're gonna go to 8 30 in the morning okay yeah I help you show up. If not, that's okay. I'll still be here either way. All right, so we are gonna go to smoke for 25 minutes in, you guys. We're gonna go do our jump lunge. If you're not jumping, you're doing the modified version, and that is. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the rose, Philip Young, and the dumbbell. Oh my gosh, that was so nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Philip. You see me on YouTube? Woo! I hope you subscribed. Subscribe, you guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, y'all. Trying to like get with it. I've been live on TikTok since I want to say it's the beginning of the year. Maybe like the second week of January. I've been on every single day. So yeah. Okay, so your jump lunge looks like this. And you're gonna go into a lunge. Then you're gonna jump and you're gonna go into the other leg. So it looks like this. Okay? It requires a little bit of core strength to keep yourself balanced. And if you wanna add weight to make it a little bit more challenging, I suggest you do that, but you don't have to. But remember, challenge yourself. Don't cheat yourself. I need t-shirts that say that. <sighs> okay, so if you're not doing that, you're going to do what's called a seesaw lunge, right? So it's no jumping. You'll still hold that weight at your collarbone like this. And you'll essentially do a forward lunge straight into a reverse lunge. too much or it looks weird like that's your body talking to you you have to listen okay listen to those signs don't just disregard it because it could be something serious right okay but the moral of the story is when your body talks to you listen yeah okay so set number two Be 
set lifts, okay?
one more set, you guys. Make sure you're on your mat. It's just gonna help prevent you from like slipping. You just feel grounded, yeah? Shoulders back, chest up, your core is on. Hinge those hips back, mid shin. Reset, drive up from those heels, yeah? Let's go.
if you need it. Do that two more rounds, yeah? One, two, three, four, yeah. Let's go. You better have your core on. Neutral back, neutral spine, shoulders in line with your hands. I work out Saturday and I struggle to sit down. <laughs> okay, um, foam rolling, stretching, Epsom salt bath, Theragun, um, but like the basic things that you can do is stretch, right? And foam roll. Stretching and foam rolling, just, but doing that consistently, like make it a part of your recovery process, right? That is why I'm, I, I truly believe that's why I'm able to bounce back. Not only does stretching improve your posture, it improve, improves your form. Um, so you want to improve your posture, right? You want to improve your form. Improving your posture improves your form. You're able to get deeper in those squats. You're able to get deeper in those lunges. You're able to squat more, jump more, right? That's what stretching can do for you, but also it increases blood flow and decreases um, chances of you getting injured, right? Um, that is science-based. I'm not just talking out of my ass. I'm actually getting certified as a um, personal trainer, and it's nice to know that because I do that literally every day stretch and foam roll but if you're like on days where I'm like so sore where stretching and foam rolling I'm still even sore I'll go take an Epsom salt bath Epsom salt really helps with sore muscles um and then you can just do manual manipulation by either like you know massaging your legs or getting a Theragun so that helps too I hope that helps okay we're gonna go do our lemon squeezers and our 30 seconds of um we've got 10 minutes left 30 seconds of bicycle crunches so we're here, reverse tabletop position, we come up, touch underneath our legs, or just get a 
as close to it as you can, yeah? We're gonna do 10. Then we're gonna pick our, oh no, we're gonna grab our dumbbell after that, hold it up in the air, and we're gonna bicycle crunch. Shoulder blades off the mat, yeah? Let's go. No breaks.
is. <sighs> My mom's like, you're gonna look so old. <laughs> okay, mom. I already got my face. Let's go, 30 seconds on. We're gonna break, pause, and then we're gonna go straight into the scissor kicks. Your legs, your thighs, your hamstrings, your quads, your calves, everything is tight, specifically your core, okay? Let's go. Shoulder blades off the mat. That was a phenomenal exercise, you guys. We went over by 
one minute. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. That was so good. Okay, let's stretch, yeah? Because we practice what we preach. We're gonna go stretch, yeah? Thank you for the follows. Grand Rising, love. Love your work, your outfit. Have a good workout. Oh, thank you, Leo. Is that Leo? Yeah, Leo. Thank you so much. No, Sabrina, University Rugby game didn't go very well on Saturday. Oh, poopy. I'm so sorry. Well, guess what? You can try it better next time, yeah? Um, Toby got kicked in the face. We all reacted in a fight on the rugby pitch. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. You boys better behave. All right, let's go stretch. If you're like me and you struggle to hit your protein goals, try preparing, preparing, preparing. Look, it's already made. I'm going to waste it. It's already made. I have to drink it, right? But it's when I have to, like, go make it, I find, like, other things to do, and then I'm like, ah, oh, have time, and then I forget. No, Sabrina, it's already made. You have to drink it. So I'm going to come to you tomorrow and be like, yes. I hit my protein. Actually, I know I'm gonna hit it today because I'm gonna do two of these and then we're eating flank steak for dinner. So, yeah, I should make it. Fingers crossed. Let's go stretch. Ooh, that's good. I've gotta stretch out this left quad, yo, because she's talking to me. She's saying, I don't think so. All right, we're gonna start off with the supine twist. We're done, you guys. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back if you did any part of that. I am so proud of you. I hope you feel good. I hope you're sweating, and I hope you're like, oh, what did I just do? But I want more, I want more. And if you do want more, you'll have another opportunity Wednesday, and you'll have another opportunity Friday for a great, fantastic leg workout, yeah? Tomorrow we're doing upper body. We'll do. We'll save the last like 10 to 20 minutes for core, and we'll do core and upper body again on Thursday. Okay? Okay. We're gonna get onto our mat. Do not forget to stretch. It should not be an afterthought. It should not be like, oh, if I have time. No. It should be like, yes, I'm stretching without a doubt. That's part of like my process of working out. Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Back onto the mat. We're gonna do a supine twist. to the right. I want your back and your shoulder blades on the mat. Do me a favor and take that right arm, touch the ground. I want you to turn your neck all the way to the right. Bring your left hand, place it on your right knee. So your back and your shoulder blades should be on the mat. Direction. Bring these legs over here. Right hand, left knee, left arm out. Head to the left.
thing that I forgot to mention besides stretching, foam rolling, uh, Epsom salt bath, and then like manual manipulation, like massaging or Theragun, is protein. Protein will decrease your soreness, so make sure you're getting adequate protein in. That'll really help. together we're gonna go into a wide stance and we're gonna come down into a yogi squat if you cannot do that this is the modified version you're gonna come here hands on your knees hands on your knees hands on your knees and then you're gonna to turn to the right and then turn to the left that feels good just oh my gosh just that feels amazing but what I want you to do is come wide with those legs if you can and I want you to just rock your knees Rock your hips, rock your ankles. And then you can also do it this way. Well, I lost my balance. Oh shit, I almost ate it. Okay, hands on your mat, come up. Pose, but we'll start off with triangle legs first really quickly. We're almost done, you guys. Triangle legs. Boom. Here. Turn your body. Other way. Just switch those triangle legs this way. Switch your body. Then we're going to go to pigeon pose. Pigeon pose from here. You just extend this left leg back. Square out your hips. Boom. There's your pigeon pose. I have to get a fly bag out here. There's like flies everywhere. I can't stand them. I also need to pick up the dog poop from this morning. So, gotta do that. All right, we're gonna go into a plank and switch out to the other leg. Come 
to the center of your mat. We're going to push our hands, interlace our hands in the back, push that chest out, back as far as you can. We're going to get into a cat-cow tabletop position. Neutral back, neutral spine. Then we're going to push those hips out and draw that belly in. Try to sit back on your heels to really feel that stretch. And then again, push those hips out. supposed to give myself 10 minutes in the morning to stretch and I totally forgot so we gotta get better about that tomorrow but anyways let's cheers to hitting our protein goals today you guys if you're trying to lose weight build muscle maintain I mean it's you really want to try and um, start to look at your food your nutrition with a different lens a lens of like where is my protein on my plate yeah and I think um, I think a lot of people just don't think about it that way so just start thinking about it like, where's my protein source in this meal, yeah? And then you'll be surprised. It's so hard to hit your weight in protein. It's, I mean, you're technically supposed to have 0.8 to like one gram per pound. Um, and it can get challenging, which is why protein shakes help. You don't have to do that, but um, it's hard, man, it's hard. And that's like one of my goals this week is just to hit my protein goals. Oh, two deep breaths, let's do it. Oh, you look like J-Lo today, do I? Okay, J-Lo's like, okay. But like she doesn't age, I love J-Lo. Okay, thank you, Ooh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, Hiking for Happiness, how are you? I'm not a bad person, Sabrina. The whole entire team does not behave themselves. On a... No, that's to be expected. My husband was in rugby, and like I know how they get. They get crazy. So I'm. I'm. Just, I was just. I was just kidding. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's go do our two deep breaths. We're gonna breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. We are practicing gratitude. That's what. Oh my God! Did you see all those birds? Um. My husband got me a planter because he knows I have a ton of seedlings that are gonna get ready to come out. So he bought me a planner, so that was so nice of him. I love him so much. Um, gardening season's about to be lit. I think it's gonna be a really good year, and I'm so excited. And I will bring you guys along for the ride, because I'm gonna have cantaloupe, I'm gonna have cucumbers, I've got baby sugar, sugar baby watermelon, I've got carrots, I've got leeks, I've got green onions, I've got strawberries, I've got kale, I've got peppers, I've got jalapenos, I've got zucchini. Did I say celery already? romaine all kinds of herbs rosemary mint sage lemon balm you name it any type of herb and then um what else i've got tomatillos i've got all kinds of tomato plants squash zucchini what else bok choy i've got by planted bok choy this is the first year i'm doing bok choy we'll see how that works um but yeah lots and lots and lots of veggies i'm so excited i'm so freaking excited okay so anyways um i digress we're gonna practice gratitude and then we're also going to um, just set our intentions for the day, yeah? I think it's good to just, I swear, sometimes I catch myself and I'm like, you're being annoying. But I think it's good to just like start your day on a positive note and think about the good things, right? Just don't wake up in a crabby mood. Like wake up in a good mood. Think of like something that you're grateful for, right? Even if it's just waking up another day, yeah? Okay, anyways, let's go. My music stops, so it's like, Sabrina, you gotta stop talking. One more. Okay, hopefully I'm not so bloated tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I've been so bloated lately. Um, 
so yeah that's my story and i'm sticking to it you guys have a fantastic monday thank you so much for being here and um if you've got little ones i posted some little one lunch inspo for you i think i'm gonna start doing that because it can be hard sometimes to think of like what foods to feed your children especially if they get bored easily from like the same things and then also trying to make it a balanced meal right like making sure you're adding some vegetables in there um and when in doubt if they don't like vegetables sneak them in the smoothie they will never know but honestly my, my son knows that spinach is in the smoothie and he doesn't care but i'm like eh, i need to start putting like other stuff in that he doesn't necessarily like like maybe some beets and stuff there's like a bunch of things that i want to do maybe this week we'll see i want to make um i want to do lemon ginger shots like turmeric ginger shots i want to do popsicles there's so much that i want to do but i will bring you guys along um have a fantastic day and i will talk to you tomorrow okay we'll be doing upper body and core i'll see you later broccoli um i didn't plant broccoli because I think that's a cold weather crop. Um, I think it's a little late for broccoli. I think that's why I didn't plant it. I have it. I have the seeds for it. Um, okay, I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Monday. Bye, guys.